Wifey and I, we're heading off to where are we going? Gundelman today. Gundelman to Anda. Okay. Yeah, Gundelman, probably a little bit of Anda. So hopefully we can get to the beach at Anda today. But we hear that Gundelman, Gundelman's quite nice around the water too. So I have contacted a hotel on the way up there, but I don't know. They didn't get back to me. So maybe they're not open. They might not be open. A lot of places just simply have. Maybe opened. we just stayed at the auntie's house. Yeah, we stayed. We went to Arnie's house. We got Lance and his lovely girlfriend coming with us this time. Second, and while you watch our beautiful journey up to Ander and Gundelman, maybe I can give you an update on my shoulder and my collarbone. Have a look at this. This is my bike after the accident. I thought she'd hit me around about at the back tire but she literally hit me right in the middle i don't know how she hasn't collected my leg but i think i had the bike kind of laid over to try and miss her here's a picture of her bike she didn't miss me look at the front of this i went down to see the doctor recently um, and he took all the staples out so enjoy this uh it didn't really hurt it was, he was really really happy with it and decided to actually remove the staples on the spot and he said, within a couple of weeks, I can actually start to do some proper exercises and, and do some work with my arm. The other thing is I went to a physio recently and I've had two trips with him and he's kind of amazed at how well I'm recovering. So yay me, this is great. So it's really good news all around. Now, thank you, Tom. A gentleman by the name of Tom has offered to give some money to the young lady that um, hit me. And we have had a couple of email conversations about this. I feel that it's a little bit difficult for the young lady to learn a lesson when other people continue to bail her out of her problems. Her poor sister was just sitting there absolutely ashen faced and, and really sad. Like, I, you know, she takes it all upon herself, her sister does, and is always bailing her long, younger sister out. Now, issues like this, I mean, let's, let's face it, she broke the law. Now, she might not have two pennies to rub together. And good on you, Tom. Good, mate. I'm, look, as I said before, I'm more than happy to be the conduit, to get the money to her. But as I said, how does she learn from this? Every time something bad happens, somebody's just going to give her money? I don't know, guys. Please, in the comments, tell me what you think. I'm happy to give her the money uh, and make sure that she's okay. At this stage... She's doing okay and she has borrowed some money to um, help with her own medical expenses. But we went to the captain and we wrote down a letter of intent, which was signed by her and signed by me, which means that she needs to pay the money out. Now she actually sat there, a 23 year old sat there and told me she couldn't pay. Now we offered her payment systems and all of this sort of stuff and she just flat out said she couldn't pay. And I said to her, you know what? You didn't even try. You're just sitting there now and you haven't even tried. You haven't attempted to do anything. And that simply isn't fair. So enjoy my trip to Anda. This will be a two-parter. There will be some great drone footage a little bit later up over Anda Beach. It's lovely. I was a little disappointed when we first got there because they put a fence around the actual beach. So welcome to Ender Beach. It looks like they've put fences up to stop people going into the beach. Isn't that interesting? Beach looks good though. So we're all gonna go in and have a bit of a swim and check it all out. Look at that. Beautiful.
This is probably one of the best beaches I've actually been to here. I think it's amazing here. It's a really good spot, really good place. Lovely beach. This is the beach front. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Until they did that with the weird ass fence. We've been through checkpoints for the car on the road and now we're going through a checkpoint for the beach. That seems... Hmm? This would be good. Hey ladies! Another checkpoint. Sorry, I'm just filming a little bit. So this is the end of beach. It used to be my favorite beach. But I think the idea of, of charging an environmental fee to come onto the beach is silly. This used to be a big open beach where you could just walk straight in from the car park. And I don't know, that kind of kills it for me. The water here is perfect. The, you know, the colors in the water are amazing. It's a bit dirty today because of the onshore wind. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It seems to be just this section. You can see the fence down there and the fence end just here. So it's just this part of the beach, which is crazy. They're charging people to just come onto this part of the beach, but the beach goes up a lot further. You can see there. It's not much battery, but let's see what we can see. These guys are catching white bait. Check this, this is amazing. Look at this. So they're catching tiny, tiny, tiny little fish. Hey boss. It's okay? Yeah. So this is catching tiny little white fish that they use in like white bait fritters. Oi! Something just licked my foot. That's kind of weird. So the water is a bit grubby at the moment but I'm going to go out a little bit further. You can see where the water gets clearer out there so I'm going to go out past that and see if I can get to see something underwater. Wouldn't that be good? But hey, what a day. Look at this, Look at this weather. It's not too bad, eh? Could be worse. So we're actually got some friends here at this place I'll show you in a bit. It's called um, the Old Castle on the beach. It's a lovely little place. German guy owns it with his wife and it looks like an old castle. So, oh, hang on, stood on something, don't like it. Wait, no, we're good. This water is really warm, unusually warm. All right, so. I'm that far out. Looking around.
We're out in the water with my friend Lance. Yeah, hey, swakke, swakke, swakne swak. Have you seen the kids eat this? Yeah. Now, I'll eat one. Okay. Hopefully we have video. Watch out, there's many, many toyam here. Yeah. Toyam is the long urchin with the long spikes and they're like, um, it's like a hypodermic needle. It goes into the skin and then it breaks off and you can't dig it out. It just goes in there and they, they inject you with a bit of poison and it, I've got to be honest, it feels like fire for about 30 minutes. Have a beer, you'll get over it, it'll be fine. But it still freaking hurts. Okay, so what do I eat? So I'm getting the swaki this one. Yeah. It tastes it tastes creamy and and slightly seafoody. It's hard to explain. I want I once said to someone that it tastes a little bit like um, like a light peach lo yogurt. Which is a really strange thing to say about something that comes out of the ocean. Oi, oi, sorry. So see, you eat this, looks a whole lot like snot. But it's remarkably, a remarkably clean flavour. Not at all salted, not like oysters, you know, like oysters are really sort of salt watery like and yeah, it's very sweet. Creamy, almost creamy, you know. And the, the Asians, uh, like when when you have the Chinese and the Koreans come over, they pay big time for this, they love it. So good. <laughs> My friend Lance here is actually a very good chef as well, so this tip top. <laughs> Today is my rest. The rest day. Holiday, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It tastes so good. It tastes, it's hard to explain what it tastes like. You know this is good for you know that. Just suck it up. Yeah. Yeah. Like that spike. Good for the good for boom boom. Good for boom boom. Be careful, honey. I've had so lucky today. Saying to Lance that um, both Jarek and and Zion both got the toyam spikes in their foot, and they man, like Zion cried for a little bit, but Jarek didn't cry. I think it was more that he didn't want to get um. Uh, you know, stop going to the beach because he got hurt. <laughs> so he didn't cry. Lance is eating. Oh yeah! Look at, look how big he is. That's many swaki right there. Look. <laughs> we find another the big swaki. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. This one is very cheaper than compared to the other. Just for the bomb bomb. The one with a swaki. Better. Mm. Many, many Filipino eat the uh, swaki because, because it's cheaper than Viagra. Viagra, Viagra is great. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. This is Filipino Viagra. Look, this, this is what I'm eating. You can see that it's still actually moving. See, it's still moving there. You see, the spines are moving. Just a little bit. This one is good. This kind of one is good. The third one. It's big. It's yeah. a big one, yeah. Big one. In the middle of the ocean, eating Filipino Viagra. <laughs> no more. It's hard to find. <laughs> this is not a broke back mountain thing. I can tell you, it's okay. But we have uh,
We love Ender, we've been up here a few times. Well, I love Ender, and Emma's a bit. Uh, things is a bit too quiet. This beach is usually fantastic, gorgeous. Today it's a bit washed out because uh, you know, there's an on onshore breeze and it's blowing shit up onto the beach. Uh, bit of a shame, but it's still just a great place. I mean, this view from the beach is extraordinary. As we we're, as we're coming into Ander, um, there was a checkpoint though. And the checkpoint showed us that there are actually eight hotels open at the moment and our friends here at the castle is one of them we may stay here tonight we're not sure my mate lance his auntie's asked us to stay with them but i don't know we haven't really stayed at the castle so it'd be quite nice to <laughs> look how handsome he is huh time <laughs> well 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 the boys go and what happened Swaki you gonna try honey I want to see it come on try 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 just a little bit Lorena's asking for measures she can cut. Because Manu just hacked it and it's like ugly now, so she wanna even it so they all grow even. But she has to ask permission. Right. Oh, just this, just this one. Come on, honey, you gonna try? Boom. Honey, we want you to try the swaki. Come on, try the swaki. Yeah. See, she swore at me. Huh? Come on, honey, it's good for the yang. Yeah, it's good for the yang. Come on, try. Try. <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> Do you know she's not happy? Now try, try, honey. It's fishy it's, like this. It's not fishy. Well, try it. Like it. Like it. Just a little. Here. It's wacky, it's not fish. <laughs> it's wacky, not fish. It smell fish. I like it, Kodum. Oh, can I? You get no, it. Try. try. Come on, honey. Try. <laughs> try it, try it. <laughs> it's Just like you eating balot. This is the old castle. How cool is this? It really does look like an old castle. Beautiful place. Boss is over there. It's great. When the, when the tourism season's on, they've actually got Heineken on tap, which is not usually a Heineken drinker, but it's bloody good to have Heineken on tap. It's fantastic. So they're literally right here at the beach. How good is that? <laughs> 